Check. Check. One. Two. I've been celibate since October 2014, when Joseph Padermo, also known as a Saudi Arabian Middle Eastern import working for the Middle Eastern Coalition of 2014, again, his name was changed temporarily to Joseph Padermo. His real name was Yusuf Islam from Saudi Arabia with temporary numbers. He injected me with heroin. Thankfully, I was on antipsychotics. Then he attempted murder, and he was accused of over 30 counts of murder via heroin. He totaled my mom's car, and I had been celibate since. I, I heard all Arab, all Islam was sexually skittish, and I vowed celibacy. I hadn't had sex since... 2014 something, October 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. All of a sudden, Matthew Baxter from Great Neck Road said his life was in danger. And he showed up at my house a couple days later with a random stranger, Jennifer Benz Sorter. She had epilepsy, is what I was told. They changed her Kepra to something like seizure only or something similar. Jacob Scott was selling her epilepsy medicine or something similar. I went to Matthew Baxter's house thinking it was a nice place and it was torched. It was torched by Orson. And then I, I wanted to leave and people broke in the house and pressured me to have sex with her. I was raped. That's rape. They forced me intercourse after almost five years celibate or going on five full years of celibacy via fear. I was scared for my life and I, and I, and I was forced to intercourse, so I, I was raped. That was number one. Nextly was Ashley Pamsky. She had been using synthetic marijuana, also known as Pakistani marijuana, also known as K2 or also known as Spice, and I did not want to see her anymore because she was abusing the CBD portion of hemp. Hemp. For CBDs, she claimed to have a spice seizure condition, and Kepra did not work for her, as well as other anti-seizure medicines. I sold her hemp, CBDs, or just gave it to her. She abused it. She came back with a knife. And I told her to stay away. She stole my cigarettes. And she came back again. And she raped me. Like twice. Nextly, there was some random guy from Farmington Avenue. With my, with, with my, with my old friend Casey Staub. And he had a gun. His name was Ben something from Farmington Avenue with Chantel something from Farmington Avenue, and Ben had a gun, and he forced me to have intercourse with Chantel something from Farmington Avenue. I'm not a stud bull. I'm sexually divergent. I'm sexually allergic. I was pictures of myself so I could attempt to be a dad eventually through dating, through courtship, through legal relations, get to know each other. And then, after courting, after dating, after ordinary acquaintance, not speed dating, after acquaintance, for friendship, and then a girlfriend. And then, what? Courting, dating. I, I wasn't says... We'll get married. It says acquaintance, friendship, dating, into courtship. Now he hasn't found one, and I'm and I'm and I'm still celibate in my book. I was raped those three times. I doesn't give a shit who heard what about through the gossip line. I was raped by those three. Jennifer Ben Sauter. 
Ashley Pamsky, and then Chantel something from Farmington Avenue. That was it. I didn't have those three willingly. I just heard on FM radio through Q105 Trojan commercials with crap about me. I was celibate for five years, I swear. I'm still celibate now. Let's see, say, October 14 to 15 is one year. To 16 is two year. To 17 is three year. To 18 is four year. To 19 is year five. 15, 16, 17, 18 to 19. That's five years. And I'm not ready to date. I'm not ready to court. I'm not pressing charges on anyone. Now, if you're those three and you hear this on YouTube, don't call back. I didn't press charges. I don't like you. I'm not singling anyone out. They're all three are probably fake names anyway. I don't have money, okay? I don't want to hear crap on the radio about anything about my sex life. It's not a joke. It's not a game. I've been on antipsychotics for a long while because I was shot in the head in New York City. I got a clean bill of health, said the local health administration in 2013. A clean bill of health enough. Okay. I've got a clear head on my shoulders. I don't use drugs. I don't advocate narcotics. And I hasn't. Two, one, seven, oh, five. Check. Check.